solve the system of equations. Where x, y and z, are real numbers. x cubed equals 2y minus 1. y cubed equals 2z minus 1. z cubed equals 2x minus 1. x and y. y and z. z and x. Have the same form of equation. Clearly, x equals y equals z, satisfy the equations. If x is greater than y, then from equation 1, we have, y equals x cubed plus 1 over 2, which is greater than y cubed plus 1 over 2. From equation 2, we know that, this is equal to z. So we have, y is greater than z. From equation 2, we have, z equals y cubed plus 1 over 2, which is greater than z cubed plus 1 over 2. From equation 3, we know that, this is equal to x. So we have, z is greater than x. That is to say, if we assume, x is greater than y, then we have, x is greater than x. This is a contradiction. Similarly, if we assume, x is less than y, then y is less than z, and z is less than x. So we have, x is less than x. This is a contradiction. Therefore, x must equal y. Similarly, we can prove, y equals z. So far, we have proved, for x, y and z to be a solution of the system of equations, x must equal y, and y must equal z. Then from equation 1, we have, x cubed minus 2x plus 1, equals 0. Clearly, x equals 1, is a solution of the equation. We will use the factorization method to solve this cubic equation. We write the constant term 1, as negative 1 plus 2. So the equation becomes, x cubed minus 1, minus 2x plus 2, equals 0. We write negative 2x plus 2, as negative 2, times x minus 1. x cubed minus 1 is equal to, x minus 1, times x squared plus x plus 1. Now the two terms have a common factor, x minus 1. So they can be factorized and written as, x minus 1, times x squared plus x minus 1. So either x minus 1 equals 0, or x squared plus x minus 1, equals 0. Case 1. x minus 1 equals 0. So x equals 1. Case 2. x squared plus x minus 1, equals 0. This is a quadratic equation, so we can work out x, by using the quadratic formula. x equals negative b, plus or minus root of, b squared, minus 4ac, over 2a. Where a equals 1, b equals 1, and c equals negative 1. So we can now write, equals negative 1, plus or minus root 5 over 2. So x equals y, equals z, equals 1, or, negative 1 plus root 5 over 2, or, negative 1 minus root 5 over 2. It is not difficult to verify that, they are solutions of the system of equations.